What's good, Black Star? Welcome back to the channel. And guys, I'm gonna talk about an ominous conversation that needs to be talked about when dating outside of the black race. Now, I'm all for passport bros. I am a passport bro advocate. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually speak out on the reality of some of the way some of these uh, women want to have been raised in all the cultures. And also, this is going to more pertain towards a small subsection of Latin America and also a certain subsection of international uh, cultures. And that is some of these cultures in a way some of these parents raise their daughters are and they, they raise their daughters to look at black men as not worthy of them. Some of them are taught preserve my preserve the race or lighten up the race because they want to be more whiteified, I should say. So I'ma just say this brothers that's going outside of the country to find wives and brothers that's looking outside of the black race in America and out of America and Western cultures, be on the lookout for that particular way of looking at it. Because I'm gonna say it like this, some of these parents want to whiten up their lineage. They do not want any darker children. There was a woman that, there was a woman that uh, posted on TikTok how her family, how her dad is a non-black Latina. Her, well, how her mom is a non-black Latina. Her dad is just as dark as her. And he, they were telling her, do not date a black man. Because they want to, quote unquote, lighten up the race. There was a, another Latina that was on YouTube that posted a video back in 2018. And she said on her YouTube, that she used to look look, uh, look at Tupac and uh, well, listen to Tupac and look at the Fresh Prince, and they were uh, they basically asked her straight up, "You like the uh, you like the uh, you like that Negro? You like that black dude?" And um, she said, uh, and she had a um, she said no because because in Latin culture and in, uh, in other cultures in general. They want to be. They want to be considered by the white, uh, by, by whites, as pure. They want to be considered pure. They don't want any. Um, they don't want any mixing of the races. Or if they if they did, they want a white. They want a white guy mixing in their uh, family. So they're looking at it like that. They want. They want the lighter the skin, the better the, the pure they are. Darker the skin, more corrupt, more dirty, I should say. That's the way that they're looking at it. And the thing about it is, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these ladies that quote unquote say they love black men, they're not talking about it. And the thing about it is, a lot of the women that are coming out and speaking about this, they're saying like that's something that you're gonna have to uh, that you're gonna have to watch out for because that happens. And quite frankly, I've seen it. I've seen it happen in middle school and high school when I tried to date a Latina. That's what happens. And the thing about it is, what they don't talk about is, what they don't say is, that in some of these cultures, their men put their hands on their women. So, it's now coming out that a lot of these non-black women like Black men are saying they saying they like non uh, like black men because the way that black men treat them is a lot better than what their own race does, and it's baffling because it's like your the way your family raised you and your uh, and your thoughts. I thought you would have negative perception of what black men are, but it's coming out now that a lot of these women want to date or uh, deal with black men specifically because they want to. Because they treat their women a lot better. Now my question is this. 
are black men getting a better are black men getting a better deal? I would say yes. Do uh, in comparison of the treatment of a lot that a lot of black men are getting from non-black women compared to our sisters. Sorry to say it, but a lot of our sisters don't have any respect for a lot of black men. But I'm gonna say this too. Brothers, we have to we have to raise our standard and raise our uh, we have to raise our standard in the way that we live. Uh, the way we hold ourselves, the way we carry ourselves. I'm not telling you something that I don't need to do yet. I'm gonna just say that right now. I know I need to shave more, you know, be more presentable on this channel. But I'm a working guy. Okay? I mean I'm not thinking about prettying myself up. Yeah, I should be because I do want to be in the business world. But just for right now, I'm just like, I'm talking to you guys raw because, let's be honest, the, the more done up I get, the less real I feel, the, re the less, the less um, authentic I feel because the thing about it is, I know I can do a lot better with the way I present myself on this channel. But let's be honest. If I was over here looking like, looking like, um, not looking like Kevin, but if I was over here looking like a businessman, I don't have any business. I didn't have a business. And you guys look that up. You gotta look at me like, well, goddamn, what the fuck is this dude talking about? He don't even know the fuck he's, uh, he, he talking about doing all this shit, but he's not doing what, I, what he's talking about. Which I actually am, so don't judge me. But it's just the fact of the matter of that um, a lot of brothers have to raise their standards with, with who they're dealing with, what they're dealing with, and how they're living their lives. Because let's get let's 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 be honest. A lot of brothers were raised to be in this whole thug thugnificent mentality. They want to be a thug, yeah, but they don't. And they want to. They want to. They want to go out here and thug around. And then when consequences strike, they want to be absolved of those, of those consequences. So what's going on is a lot of these, a lot of these brothers are doing some illegal shit and getting arrested, and they want to be absolved of, those, of the consequences. No, raise your standards. The way that you should live. You shouldn't be living like a like a. Um, you shouldn't be living like a street nigga, street negro. I'm, I'm gonna just say that. Again. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real about it. You shouldn't be one. You shouldn't be one to be a street negro in the, in the streets, running around here selling dope, shooting niggas and shit. You shouldn't be one to do that. You black in America. You you should be proud of who you are. You not in chains. You are black. You are proud. We are the trendsetters in America. Everything that gets trendy is because black men have started doing it. Let's be honest. We set the trends, the styles. We, we set a lot of shit. People copy us and then it becomes a trend. Which is funny. But we do a lot of the shit that a lot of uh, we set a lot of the trends. We have power, and we don't even use our power because we're so wrapped up in this mentality of of we're low value. We, uh, we set our standards so fucking low. And it's like a lot of us is like you have the power and you don't even know it. Hell, I have the power, and I'm waking up to it myself because let's be honest. Some of the ideas I have which I need to still talk about Project Black. Some of the ideas that we have, we can have them and we don't do it anymore. Because we've been told all our lives that we don't deserve, like we don't need to do it or we don't deserve to do it or we, never, we didn't have anybody around us to support us. So now that we have, so now that we're starting to get this power, this confidence back, a lot of us are just like, yo, I have all this power and I've been over here pushing around. Yeah, a lot of us, a lot of us have, uh, a lot of us have a lot of power in, in our 
in our minds. And we have to start using our minds, using our minds for business, using our minds to build technology, using our minds to develop, uh, develop, using our minds to produce air, aircraft. A lot of us, a lot of us are smart enough to know where we can build aircraft, uh, come up with new, new energy sources, solve a lot of global problems, and do a lot of shit. A lot of us have the brains for it. But think about it is, a lot of us have low standards and low, um, and don't have this uh, drive to achieve. When in actuality, we should have all the drive in the world because a we ain't in change no more. So our our ancestors fought and died for us to go out there and do something. And a lot of us are just sitting around here just not doing nothing. I'm just like, dude, you have all the power in the world, and you only and you only here just bullshitting around. And it's like for me, I feel like that too because I'm like, yo, I got all this fucking power, but yet I'm not doing anything with that power. What am I doing with my life? And that's how I'm looking at it. But guys, go out there and dominate. Raise your standards. Raise the way you raise the way you look at yourself. Raise the way you are hold you and carry yourself. Raise the way you think about women. Raise raise the way you uh, raise the way you look. What you're looking for. If you're looking for a wife. Understand what values you're looking for. You want her to be submissive. You want her to be a good mother. You want her to be fit. You want her to be loving, uh, caring, willing to damn do, willing to will hand and foot, willing to drive, willing to uh, help keep that drive lit inside of you. Help keep you confident, inspired. If that's what you're looking for in the wife, Find a woman that does all of that and more for you. Find a woman that supports your dreams. Is willing to actually go out there and help you achieve your dreams. Love you for the person you are. And do everything she got to do so that, so that she can keep you. And so that y'all build a strong, successful, and loving family. I've said it before. Family is at the core of what I want. Family is at the core of what I do, is the reason why I do this. Without family, a lot of us are just gonna raise hell. Let's be honest. But family is family is what I want. That's the reason why I do this because a lot of us want that that family structure, and a lot of us don't know what the standards of that is. Hell, I'm talking to you about this, and I'm not. Out of a fully first in the subject, I'm just going based off of what I'm, what I'm, what I'm feeling, what not feeling, what I believe. But it's the honest truth, and let's be honest, let's let's be honest about it too. A lot of us has a poor ass standards. A lot of us will go out there and date the biggest chick on the block. Not saying there's nothing wrong with, uh, not saying there's nothing wrong with that, but there is. But um, a lot of us go out there and accept bad treatment, combativeness, and just downright disrespect. That's the problem. A lot of men are leaving the community because of respect. Black men want respect, and the thing about it is, a lot of a lot of women don't respect black men. And that's the, and the and that's because black men have low standards and accept the respect, the disrespect. A lot of black men accept the disrespect because they have low standards. It's, it's the truth. You can you can cry about it all you want, but it's the truth. Black men have low standards. That's why they accept why they accept um, disrespect. Why they accept um, combativeness? Why they accept just being degraded daily, day in and day out by the media, by black feminists, by hell, even the president, the vice president? Black men accept so much fucking disrespect; it makes no goddamn sense. I'm still surprised 
I'm confident enough to say this shit on the, on the internet because there's gonna be some motherfucker that's gonna come in my comment section and try to disrespect the fuck out of him, uh, try to disrespect the fuck out of me, and I'm gonna have to come for that ass and whoop that and smack him back in this place. So yeah, black men raise your standards enough to the point where you command respect, not demand. Not saying, oh, you must respect me. No, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about when you walk in the fucking room and that motherfucker know who you are. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. That's the type of respect I'm talking about. When you come in the room, everybody look at you in awe. That's the kind of respect I'm talking about. I'm not talking about dancing like a damn monkey around for these motherfuckers out here wanting you to damn uh, just be a puppet. Hell the fuck no. I'm talking about command respect. To the point where you are not to be fucked with. And that is the gist of, it, of this video. You better command respect. You better command them to, kiss, to get on their knees and kiss your goddamn feet. That's the kind of respect I'm talking about. Get on your feet. Get on your knees and kiss my feet. Because I, cause that's the kind of respect I demand. I'm not talking about just making a motherfucker now. I'm out to I say command. You walk in the room, the motherfuckers know who you are, and they sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up and they praise you. That's the shit I'm talking about. Now I'ma get the fuck off this damn phone because I'm at home right now and I will see you guys on the flip side. Take my black ass in here and go take me a shower. I'ma shave. For you motherfuckers out there talking about you need a shave. Nah bitch. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go shave. And I'll see, you, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening to this podcast. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye, guys.